All right, guys, this is the legendary and iconic Maui Gym Stingray Sunglasses, one of their older original designs. Uh, it's legendary and iconic, and this new wall is gonna be legendary and iconic. Uh, maybe. <laughs> We're gonna pretend it is anyway. So this is one I was actually asked to do, and yeah, eh, legendary. We'll have some fun with it. We'll try to. I'll try not to be too bored, I promise. I should have said or boring. Too bored or boring. Yeah. So, wrap sunglasses are a natural bane of my existence and of most opticians' existence because optically they're an anomaly that drives brains mad for a host of different reasons. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about Maui Jim's sunglasses. Stingray. This guy has been in their collection for as long as I think most people can remember, and uh, you're going to hear me fuss a lot through this, but I'll try. That's, I have two samples here, and one of them is not great. Anyway, two colorways. You have the classic tortoise that you will see everywhere, gets the job done, clean, easy to wear, and in a host of different lenses, I believe, let's make sure, yeah, it's available, looks like, in pretty much all of the colors. Now, Maui Gym has made their website notoriously difficult to navigate now, which is super fun, but the lenses are super thin glass in this case, which is always good, brings a lot of value to it for the $280 price point-ish. I wouldn't buy these at $280, but, you know, if you want to, you, you do that. On the caveat there, it is super hard to find a very petite fit wrap sunglass. And these do wrap really well. They give a lot of coverage. Has a little grippies on the nose pads, which is always nice. And their material in particular tends to get grippier as you sweat, which is always good. The thing that I find that is counterintuitive to that with, we don't have it back here. And you'll see one of my graps here already. Ah. Overall fit is pretty good. It's definitely more small petite. I will agree with that. The Maui Gym site says it is a small petite frame, and it definitely is. The sizing numbers, because some of you people care about that sort of thing, it is a 55 eye size, which means that lens is 55 millimeters across. Good size for a sport wrap. I do like that. Runs a little bit smaller, but just enough. Distance between those lenses is 22 millimeters. The bridge is extremely snug on that, which is part of how this is a petite fit, so do keep that in mind. Uh, for me, not a super comfortable frame, but I just don't like one that pretty much touches everywhere, and this one does. Oh, you can see, right there, right on the cheeks. Gets the job done, works well. It is an acetate frame, or cellulose propionate is what they actually call it. Strong, extremely lightweight injection molded plastic. So this is not the cellulose acetate that I generally work with. It is something else, but that makes sense because I thought this was a nylon injected frame until I read that cellulose line, so there you go. Is it gonna behave very similar to nylon, I suspect. Overall construction is pretty decent. You do have some nice little spring hinges here, which is one of my gripes with the frame at this price point. Actually, I would rather see a fixed hinge. These do enlarge, have a nice little snap closure to them. You've got some stretch there, which is what allows this to open up to larger sizes. It's more universal fit with that. So I understand the design, especially in the earlier production. Today, I do feel like that should be changed to a fixed hinge because you get a lot of defects with this price point spring hinge, and I just am not a fan with it. I literally have two models in my hand. Both are brand new, direct from Maui Gym, and this is what we've got over here, is the one that is pretty much on the verge of failure right out of the box. You can't quite tell it on camera, but there is just not much going on there, versus these are nice and snappy over here, so. That one's on its way out, and it's brand new. So we'll send that back to Maui Gym and get a new one. <laughs> That's the good thing, right? Super easy on warranty. For a sport wrap, as far as those go, yeah, plenty of great coverage. The lens size is a little small for a sport wrap for me, and I do catch this edge of frames. I typically don't like to see that in a sport wrap because for me, a lot of the reason is the openness of a wrap frame. So you get that peripheral cut down 
you know, it's not super wide angle. We're talking like 150. Yeah, somewhere in that 140 to 150 area degree gaze angle. Now, you're not going to be doing that to see out of them anyways, because you've got this huge brick of a block of a side temple over here, which is trending again, so that's fine, I guess. I guess I should try the Havana on my face for you, and it is that HCL bronze lens I like more. I would definitely say stick to the glass lenses in these just for comfort, but also with some of these cheaper injection frames. I know these aren't cheap frames. Don't come after me for that, okay? The material is cheaper. Bear with me on that, okay? But the glass lens helps reinforce, helps hold its structure. And then the good thing about this type of plastic, it's uh -huh, really nice and absorbs some of the bumps. So if you do drop them, unless you land right down on that lens, it's gonna be a little bit less prone to cracking. So I do love the super thin glass in that frame. I love the super thin glass in all the frames. But yeah, it's what you've got. Legendary, iconic, something like that. Anyways, so there you go. That's all I've got for the Stingray. Definitely not a personal favorite, but it is a cool looking pair of sunglasses, a style that is definitely seeing a resurgence. All good things. That aside, let me know your thoughts on the Stingray. If you've owned one and wore one, if you're on this channel, I suspect you probably have at some point as it is, yeah, legendary. Spin around, guys. <laughs> let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you next time.